Hi and welcome back to this is the second video update that I've done my first Gmail ad campaign uh, promoting a Clickbank offer where I showed you my earlier video um, etc uh, you can check out that video in the links below uh, it's a full-on training how to set up your ad however uh, I was disapproved at first and the reason why I was disapproved was not because of the direct linking or the offer or anything but it was misleading content and that had to do with my titling my ad creation it was wrong okay I was actually uh, misleading people thinking they can play piano and uh, right away and sound good just misleading stuff so I all I did was um, I edited that ad to uh, what it is right now which was approved and I was just being a little bit more clear with what I'm, I'm I'm doing so let me just share with you the actual ad before I had the name um, I don't think that the business name has a lot but I wanted it to be congruent with the site that they were gonna land on okay so I did piano for all as business name headline piano for all here's an agenda and then in the um, in the more options I added learn more instead of play piano now that's again misleading so you got to be careful on how you're writing your ads so it's not misleading okay that was the only reason why it got disapproved it didn't get disapproved because i was doing direct linking it just get it got the uh, it got disapproved because of the misleading content now if you go and read the policy of the misleading content it really gives you an example of examples of what not to use and you can actually use this to your benefit and make your ads better so i fixed that i re i asked them to review it again and we were ready to go as you can see the tracking template it's on clickbank final url is the site that i put everything is running just like i created it before just different headline and description and uh, to make it more um to make it approved etc now there was another question that i had in one of the videos about this one I have no idea why this was removed. This is automatically uh, when you're creating an ad. Okay, so when you create an ad for what I just did, um, you can, uh, what do you call it? Let me just go into my overview. Now, if you create an ad um, for Gmail ads, for some reason, it also uh, creates a removed um, thing. Okay, so let me just go to all enabled. Um, okay so for example I was doing my point rank um, ad campaign and if I go to the ad group it, the same thing happened here um, it gave me a removed by itself so it's not something that got disapproved it was just it got removed this is still running running pretty well with 0 0.30 um, and I'm also making a couple commissions because of this um, other than that uh, the ads are running right now um, just wanted to be really um, transparent about this so I don't have people jumping on saying my ad got disapproved I followed your lead but well it doesn't mean that it's not allowed it's just got disapproved because of the misleading content okay and once you get disapproved check out what the policy is fix it and then it will get approved for it to run okay I hope this is uh, uh, clear way of you doing some ads on gmail and getting on people's inboxes okay thank you and i'll talk to you in the next video